Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of Laravel 9 series. In this series, we are creating the multi vendor website in uh, Laravel 9. Okay, so uh, we are working on uh, admin uh, login logout functionality. And in last video, I am going to show you that we have created those pages. Login and dashboard pages are ready, and no one can able to open the dashboard page without logging in. Okay, so user is required to log in. Uh, okay, otherwise he can't able to assess the dashboard page. Uh, so we have some of the tables ready and user table is here and uh, we are required uh, to add some entries here uh, that uh, we are required to log in uh, into the admin panel. Okay, uh, so we can see the admin table. Sorry, admin table is here. Okay, so in admin table we are required to add uh, one entry uh, that we will do with the help of Cedar and uh, after that uh, we are going to work on the admin login functionality that we are going to use the guard for admin login functionality auth guard okay auth guard uh, guard is a type of authentication uh, that we will use in laravel 9 as well we have also done this uh, in laravel 6 7 and 8 versions and see uh, for uh, login we are going to use the guard and the entry will come up here but we are going to create one uh, entry with the help of seeder okay so seeding uh, seeder or seeding helps us to insert data uh, into the table from the file and will also help us uh, for future projects if we want to automatically create tables with migration and data with the table seeding okay so uh, here i want to tell you once again uh, like uh, uh, admin we are going to work on admin login and the types of admins uh, once again see uh, we are going to work for these admins types okay so uh, like I have shown you like uh, admins are of four types one is the super admin okay super admin is only one okay uh, see uh, this uh, can create all the admins or sub admins okay so uh, see super admin can create admins uh, he can also create sub admin okay and also create those vendors okay and after that admins admins can create the sub admins and vendors as well okay so vendors are a type of admin as well because vendor can control uh, his own products his own categories his own products his orders so it's a kind of admin he but he is having the limited access okay so vendor is a type of admin itself so for this uh, one we are going to create the login logout functionality and uh, so let's start with this either one uh, uh, we are going to insert see these are two videos this is the part one of admin login logout in which we are going to insert admin record with laravel seeder and in the next video we are going to uh, log in at uh, the admin uh, with auth guard and we will work on admin logout functionality as well okay so here we will cover in these two videos so i am going to create uh, the seeder file for creating the entry so for that i am going to run one composer command new terminal add folder and i am going to uh, run one command php artisan make cedar admins table cedar okay so see we are going to open this file admin table cedar okay so now uh, we are going to include the admin model here first of all okay use app model admin okay so now uh, for uh, we are going to insert a one admin record uh, here we will write the query like admin records here uh, we are going to give like this id like id is one so 
so name uh, is admin or we can make it like uh, super admin as well okay uh, we can give it like super admin okay super admin it will be one only type we will also make it like uh, super admin like this then mobile okay and uh, then email email we are going to use as admin at the rate of admin.com and email you can use then password so password it will be the hash password we are going to generate the hash password then we'll put here okay and after that uh, see check the uh, columns once see name type see vendor id we have missed the vendor id vendor id will be zero name type and then vendor id so vendor id uh, will be zero for now okay later on uh, we are going to add the vendor id as well uh, when the when vendor will register from the front end then we are going to add the vendor id here in admin table okay so after vendor id mobile email password and image is empty right now so image then status image then status and status will be one okay uh, so uh, here we are going to insert it like this and after that uh, and here uh, we can add admin insert admin reports so you can even add more entries like this if you want to add like if you want to add for admin uh, or for vendor you can add multiple uh, entries like this okay uh, in which you are going to change the uh, 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 details like this to or if it is admin then you will make it admin here you can make it like admin when it is still zero but right now i am going to you not using it like this okay uh, because i i will create from super admin i will create when we will create the admin sub admin module and we are going to register the vendor from front end okay uh, so right now for login into the admin panel and uh, for other features of admin panel we are going to create the super admin and super admin we need to create like this because super admin we can't create uh, super admin we need to create only one time this is the one time process that uh, we will create the super admin from the code itself okay so now uh, we will generate the password okay so any password you can generate and uh, there are some websites as well uh, for generating the password and uh, see, I think there are some hash password generator there is the website decrypt generator okay so uh, I think decrypt generator. this is decrypt generator this is the website okay you can open this website be crypt generator and you can put here one two three four five six and encrypt it and our hash key has been generated we can copy this hash key and uh, we can put it here okay so see how simple it is and there is the another way as well if you don't want to use it like this then there is the another way uh, we can generate the hash password uh, with the laravel code itself uh, so i will do one thing here uh, i am going to open the admin controller there is the another way to do this thing see here uh, i am going to uh, use it like echo dollar password equal to i will use the hash function hash function of laravel with make 
and here I will simply do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and will use die it will generate the password here ok so let's see refresh and uh, see we need to include uh, I think we need to include here uh, we can search uh, I think use hash maybe we need to include if such errors come then we can simply search ok uh, use hash yeah we need to include is use hash okay at the top then we able to use it now see I'm going to refresh here and see our uh, we also get the hash password like this okay so there are multiple ways you can generate the hash passwords from the website or with the code as well so I just uh, uh, will comment this one for now okay so uh, now I'm using this password and uh, now I need to uh, update one more file database cedar file database cedar we are going to open this file and uh, here uh, we are going to run need to write here dollar this here uh, we are going to call uh, that uh, admin table header okay that means table header okay so now uh, we are going to run the commands uh, let's see we will do first composer dump auto load okay so uh, and after that we will run the php artisan db seed and now we are going to run php artisan db seed to insert the report uh, command db seeder is not defined i think uh, sorry uh, db seed not db seeder okay like this db seed now it has been done so uh, we are going to check now uh, the entry must be here in admins table and you can see the entry is here super admin super admin entry is here with the password okay so our entry is now in the admins table and now in the next video uh, we are going to work on the admin login functionality we are going to update the login form and we are going to uh, create the login function in which we are going to login into the admin panel with the help of auth guard okay and we will also do the logout functionality as well so stay tuned for the next video in which we will do the admin login function okay then that's all for now have a nice time goodbye